Wow. Mama spent some money today on an outfit that makes her look very smart and slimming. It feels very businesslike, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It feels like spring has sprung and I'm about to go into business. <laughs> I'll buy into that business. Thank you. You had a birthday a couple weeks ago. Sorry I wasn't invited, but how did that go? Well, I turned 45 years old, so I was pretty excited. Why are you laughing at that? What do you think, that's a joke? I'm not laughing, I'm Why laughing because I'm so happy that you're aging so beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> I say I turned 45 and he laughs in my face. Anyway, I decided to celebrate by skiing down um, a mountain. Oh yeah. But without any pants on. Let's see. <laughs> and so I... <laughs> Wait, totally naked? Well, no, I had underwear on, just a thong. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't want to get, you know, chapped or anything. I have sure. to protect. <laughs> I have to protect my area. But see, but sure. my form, and I Look have what looks like a joint and a ma margarita. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, but obviously, that's like I wouldn't do that because that's irresponsible. I would right. never ski down a mountain with no. an actual margarita and a lit joint. Yeah, it's almost so, impossible. Uh, right. Actually, so. so what was it then? So it was a prop. <laughs> There two props, Oh, yeah. two props. Well, you just got from the prop you know, table at the ski resort? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, you know, I, I don't want anybody to get in trouble, and the mountain frowns upon smoking on the mountain, and I, of course, do too. And so the people I was around, like my ski guide, this yeah. woman got in a lot of trouble. How could you let Chelsea ski down without any pants on, with a joint and margarita? Like, this is, and I, and I felt bad, because I didn't want to get her in trouble, and I always get people in trouble, right, you know? Right, 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 right. But it's not her fault, because if I want to take my pants off with a margarita and a joint and ski down a mountain, then I'm going to do it, and nobody's going to stop me. Yeah, I love that. It's my birthday. Air, air. Air, air high five. Yeah, so, so that's how I celebrate me. I, lo I love it, at least somebody does. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. Hey, remember the first time we fell in love? Yes, I do. That was at the game show, right? Yes. At NBC? Yeah. And we were, we, were we playing on the same team? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we not had, anymore. We had, <laughs> we had a strong connection. Yeah. And then I came on Will and Grace. Yes. And I played a lesbian with my best friend, Mary McCormick. We played a lesbian couple. Um, she was a little bit domineering, which is basically our relationship in real life. And I love her. And She's we great. had a really, I had a very hard time being on a sitcom, and you guys were trying to be very nice. You were I'm not fantastic. Good, I'm not good reading other people's lines. I'm better when I just say what I feel like. Yeah, but you were really, truly, truly fantastic. And I was, <laughs> you really were. <laughs> it was, was hilarious. It was bad. It was well, bad. I watched the show. I was there. Well, the you were taping, amazing. The taping of the show ended up being fine, but the rehearsals, like, I don't prepare for things, and they do. So when I came on thinking I'm like, hot, I'm like, oh, yeah, Will and Grace, I can nail this. And then, like, yeah. you know, two days into rehearsal, they're like, you need to learn your lines, little girl. <laughs> What? And then you were like, can you run lines with me? And I was like, busy. <laughs> was like, Will no, you I'm be kidding. friends with me? <laughs> yeah, no, you were so sweet and so funny. And do you, um, have you ever played a lesbian in real life? <laughs> I have played a lesbian in real life. You yeah. have? Yeah, I went to college. Well, I didn't, but I acted like I did. You, wait, you didn't go to college? I did not get accepted anywhere, no. What about now? Try now. I mean, I would probably get in now. I took my SAT. If you could ski there, you'd go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you could take ski, if you could take college while you're skiing. Sure. So right. I didn't take school seriously. It's... So no, I didn't get it. I didn't go to college because I didn't apply to college. Yeah, well, because... it's good that this is a daytime show. So listen, Mary, <laughs> Mary McCormick uh, is posting PSAs on social media to help you find love. I'm just trying to cast a wide net, and I and she's encouraging See, me to spread that message that I'm available and ready for a relationship. So. I'm saying it over and over and over again. Okay, so what kind of guy are you looking for? Um, like what, 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 what do you look for in a guy? Like physical first? I want physical matter, ruggedness. Brains. I like ruggedness to somebody who can pick me up and throw me around if I need that to happen. <laughs> Not like a requirement a daily, notice. but like in a situation, if we're in a jam and you need to pick me up, I need you to be able to do that. Well, I need to say something. I think one of your deepest, darkest secrets that nobody knows, and I do, is that you're an incredibly charitable, kind, sweet person, and you are gorgeous, and any man would be so lucky to have you. Well, that, thank you. Yeah, it's true. Well, I appreciate that. Unfortunately, uh, that would mean a lot more coming from a straight man, so. <laughs> Look at I can pretend I wear a lot of hats. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I have some super exciting news that you, you're going to be returning to stand up. Is that true? I am. I'm returning to That's stand amazing. up. I'm having. Thank you. Thank 
Thank you, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I am loving it again. I mean, I'm in a whole new kind of phase of my life. So I'm like clear-headed, you know, not boozing and drinking the way that I used to. So I'm like present and meditating, and doing that. all the stuff I used to make fun of. And, and now I'm like, I mean, I'm not going on a silent retreat anytime soon, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm not that carried away, but I'm definitely like on the train to like self-help and self-betterment. And, and what made you want to stop doing stand-up in the first place? Oh, just being burnt out and doing yeah. too much of it and yeah. traveling all the time and not really appreciating the moment. And I didn't really feel like I had a message. I think now from my last book, it's about grief and death. And I'm like, if I can turn that into a stand-up special yeah. and make it funny to talk about those topics, then then I have a message and I have something. So, um, you know, if you're interested in seeing me, just follow me on one Go of my social house. media. Come over. <laughs> <laughs> Sean will tweet out the address in about five minutes. It's probably out there already, so just come over. Um, but you do have two true loves of your life already. Bert and Bernice, you talking about my yes, dogs? Yes, yes. Yeah, they're... How are they? What's new? Oh, oh look best. at them. That's like me holding them at gunpoint, trying to take a picture, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah. So Bert and Bernice are a brother and sister duo, and Bert is the Lion King in my mind. I love that. And him. Bernice likes to sleep out on the balcony, and she's aloof. So I'm working on Bert. So now he's trained to come up to my bed and sleep with me at night without a leash. So we're making progress. So <laughs> if you do that to a man, you're all set. That's, that's true. Just that's true, Sean. I am all set. Thank you. <laughs>